Hi everyone, it's meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Just want to show you uh, what's going on here in the east, uh, particularly in, around the Pennsylvania, New Jersey, uh, southeastern New York uh, area, down into uh, Maryland and Virginia. We have a broken line of severe thunderstorms that is moving through with a, an approaching cold front. And you can see all the temperatures ahead of it are in the upper 60s and low 70s. We have uh, good inflow coming in from the south. Uh, and we actually have, if you look uh, here, where I'm, the uh, mouse hour was pointed just south of Scranton, we have a tornado warning up. It uh, looks like there was rotation in this particular cell here, uh, as uh, was indicated by the uh, radar observer. Also, another tornado warning posted down near Scranton. Uh, I, I'm sorry, that's a Scranton one. Another torna possible tornado down near Lancaster, uh, right in here, uh, that uh, white whitish area it's hard to tell here on the on the straight uh, radar echoes and then uh, further south into uh, north central Maryland we do have what could possibly be uh, a thunderstorm with some rotation so it's uh, very interesting here that we're here in the middle of February and we have uh, severe weather issues uh, this far north I can't for the life of me remember the last time we had severe thunderstorm watches up this far north during um, the month of February but you can see where it's outlined. It's mostly for southwestern New Jersey, southeastern and south central Pennsylvania, southward into Maryland and Virginia. And uh, this watch uh, was posted uh, about one little after 1.30 this afternoon. So it, it runs uh, for the next uh, three or four hours. Doesn't look like they're going to put a watch up for areas north and east of here. So um, we'll um, uh, keep our eyes on that to see how that plays out. I just want to go to the uh, HRRR model uh, to give you an idea of what's expected for the rest of the afternoon, and we'll uh, put that up here for you. And uh, this is the latest run of the HRRR, so let's just back it away. And we were at <clears throat> uh, four in the afternoon here, a pretty fairly impressive line of storms. You can see that sort of narrow area of, of a reddish, uh, that reddish hue that runs down here. Uh, th that's where the, you know the really strong cells are embedded in the, in the line that runs down from uh, north central New York State all the way down into Maryland, and that line actually strengthens a little bit as it moves into western New Jersey. But notice that after about five or six o'clock, it starts to weaken a little uh, somewhat, and then it weakens even more as we approach the coast at, at around 7 p.m. or a little be between six and 7 p.m. and uh, then east across Long Island. One of the issues for uh, the coastal areas for Long Island and for Connecticut is that southeast wind with off the 40 degree ocean. Even though air temperatures actually are in the 60s and we're getting some sun here, there is a bit of a marine layer which tends to stabilize uh, these thunderstorms. And then uh, once the daytime heating gets cut off, uh, you uh, lose them almost completely uh, after about 8 or 9 o'clock. So uh, we're at the peak period now uh, over the next uh, couple of hours with these thunderstorms as they move to the east and then once that happens thereby weather conditions will begin to improve and notice by the way that's a, a potential severe weather and heavy rain runs all the way up uh, into upstate New York to the Canadian border and beyond I mean that's just how out of whack things are in the atmosphere it's warm all the way up to Caribou Maine so even though there's a, a changeover to snow into the colder air on the back side um, it, it, this is hilarious in my view to see something um, this warm, this far north, where it's raining clear up to northern Maine when this is all said and done. Just want to look back at uh, the um, uh, surface parameters. You can pick the front out really well here. Uh, notice it's 68, 65. The winds here are all south or south-southeast. And then they turn northwest, short distance away. Gust to 43, uh, gust to 33. Look at the temperature changes uh, as they go from 73, 71, 72, 72, and then suddenly you're at 52, uh, 46, 41 as you go deeper into Pennsylvania. So it's a really large temperature change over an incredibly small distance. Uh, so we, that, that's pretty obvious. Also looking where the wind shift lines are, uh, you can see you can pretty much draw in where the front is. That's right about here, just like that. And uh, that's moving fairly quickly uh, to the east. So uh, these thunderstorms look like they're peaking in intensity now and for the next, 
I would say, three hours before they move into New Jersey. And then they're going to start to weaken as they get closer to the coast. Here's where the marine layer is at play. With this wind off the ocean, you know, 61, 61, 63, I'm actually somewhat surprised that the temperatures are as high uh, as they are uh, here. And along the Connecticut coast, look how much cooler it is, 52, 54, 55. Um, it looks like the tropical layer kind of wants to overtake the marine layer to some degree, at least as far as Long Island is concerned. It hasn't quite gotten into Connecticut. And there you have your upper 60s and low 70s uh, all throughout much of uh, western New Jersey. The, the wind being from the southeast is a bit of a mitigating factor here uh, in terms of the strength of the thunderstorms. We'll uh, post a, a video later on. Uh, I want to wait for the, some of the, the late afternoon model runs with regards to the longer range and uh, what may or may not happen over the next couple of weeks. So um, uh, look for that. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, you can go to my Facebook page, Meteorologist Joe Chaffee, for latest updates on the uh, severe weather that we're having. And uh, also, uh, you can check out my app uh, on um, My Weather Concierge. Uh, you can download that and subscribe to my forecast, just 99 cents uh, for New York, New Jersey, Long Island, Connecticut, Hudson Valley, and Eastern Pennsylvania. So everybody have a great rest of your afternoon.